Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at an update to the traffic add-on which is Traffic 1.2 and this is an asset add-on that is made available by the folks at Polygonic. Now for those who would like to get this, link is going to be in the description as this new update comes with a couple of nice new assets. One of the first features which we're going to play with is the fact that you can now turn on and turn off lights and at the same time, the main priority for this particular release deals with high quality interior. So for those who like to get this, link is going to be in the description. So do well to take a look at that. So with this said, we're definitely going to dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So once you download this, you need to go over to edit, go over to preference and do your installation. Now, once you get that done, press N on your keyboard and you will notice that you have Polygonic right here. Now within Polygonic, if you've installed the Botanic tool before, which is also a nice vegetation add-on from them you'd notice that you have that there and if you already purchased you know the traffic add-on you would also notice that you have that right here so i'm just going to click on this button right over here and then we can spawn some assets now they have a couple of cool assets that is now available right now so if we go over to the contemporary cars we can see that we have some nice ones all right so these are nice models that you can play with so let's take a look at the land rover so if i click on the land rover if i want to get random colors i can select random colors but if i have a specific color in mind i can just simply select that color and get good with it but then let's just you know cast our dices and see what we're going to get so i'm just going to select random color if i need the brand new light support i need to turn this on and of course if i would like to work with traffic collection right here i need to also make this one turned on now for those who would like to make this editable maybe you want to go ahead and rig it later you can also turn this on but for this case, I'm just going to click on OK to have this right here. So with this done, let's take a look at the very first thing which uh, I would like to actually confirm. And that has to do with the detailing, the interior. There is a lot of claim that the detailing looks cool. So let's see what is going on there. And we are in the model. All right. So this doesn't look bad. I mean, once you take a look at this, you can see that the detailing in here looks pretty cool. Of course, you can notice that most of the parts that you might be needing looks really, really Really nice let's see what this looks like in EV so I'm just gonna flip over to EV and see what we have right there and let's zoom all the way out of course we cannot get all of the necessary things that we want by just switching over to EV as it's highly recommended to use cycles okay so we would also jump over to cycles right now click over there and let's see what we have in here okay so textures and also surfacing is coming in very very nice and you can start seeing that Let's switch this to GPU and see, you know, what we can get as GPU might just simply make this happen really fast. All right. So it doesn't look bad. I mean, the surfacing doesn't look bad. And of course, I know a lot of you guys might not be able to see that. So let's select the light and bring that light right in there. OK, so let's do the inspection right in there. Press the period key to jump right in and let's see. OK, that's uh, that's a little bright. That's a, it's a bit too bright right there so we can see what we have. All right. So with this here, you can literally start noticing that we have some very high quality stuff going on here and uh, the detailing looks good kind of i can get behind this one this looks really nice look at the seat belt you have all of this stuff and you know this is this is pretty nice so for those who are looking for high quality models you're looking for models with very nice interiors not just the chassis you want to be able to get in the model you want to be able to get out of the model you can now take a look at these things and get some very good results with them meanwhile if we also jump back out here and uh, let me just simply move this one over to this point click on the spawn asset one more time you would notice that they have a couple of new motorcycles so if i click over here you can now notice that we have the vespa the yamaha and also the aprilia so with the aprilia here you can now add the aprilia into your scene and of course you can also make some changes and right now they have a couple of street elements which you can also play with and for those looking for street signs of course there is now a lot more street signs so you can actually go ahead and play with these ones as well so lots and lots of you know assets for those who are trying to do some very cool stuff with cars and you know you're going to find these ones very very rewarding and with this said let's also take a look at some utility models so there is a new update to utility models that are now here and you can simply bring these ones in as well and one thing to keep in mind is the folks at polygonic they've also tried as much as possible to add some very nice and nifty looking utilities for example let's say we have a model like this 
and we choose to rotate you know the platform and we want our model to snap to this platform you can now easily get these things happening by simply selecting the model from here and then click on this button which says snap to ground and automatically it's going to snap to ground and you can now see this so depending on how you want your model to be placed or depending on what angle you want your model to be facing when you're working with it directly in your scene this is definitely going to come in very handy other things that you can do is by simply selecting the object let's rotate this all the way back to zero all right so let's uh, hold down shift and select all of these and set them all back to zero and right now i can also go ahead and select one and two and snap this to ground so there's also a very nice utility feature that is now here as well which has to do with light so if for example i select the machine locals which is a very cool stuff you know for construction and let's say i position this one right about the point like so and let's scale that just about that much okay so if i have this selected you would notice that we have something called light control panel so within the light control panel we can now control the amount of light that we want our model to emit so the light is now something that makes a lot of sense i kind of like this one as well so how this works is simple i'm just going to go ahead and turn off this light which we have here and then i would select the light type that i want so if i want the model to actually be in a packing position or i want the lights to be more of a packing light I can click on pack and also click on the word set and automatically you would notice that we have a packing light because the light is not traveling too far from the model we can also click right here and select the high beam light and you can also notice that so this is also a very cool one so this is across all of the models that we have right now so i can also select this one and let's see what the packing light looks like all right so this doesn't look bad let's get close to that okay so you can see that it doesn't look bad at all we can also look at the back nice and let's also take a look at the high beam so we can also select high beam okay so this looks pretty nice so the folks at polygonic have also done some very nice stuff with the whole interior so regardless of which of the models that you're looking at you can see that the detailing on these models right now they look pretty nice so we can also preview those let's actually look at this thing within the shading and let's allow the shader to load up okay so we have that so you can look at this and you can see lots and lots of uh, details right here and uh, you can tell that they've taken their time to make these things look cool so nice and beautiful stuff that they have going on here and for those who would like to do some quick environment of course you can take a look at the botanic add-on which is also a very nice one so if you would like to get some things scattered across maybe some nice vegetations of course you can also find a truckload of cool vegetation stuff that you can pick from and you can just simply assign them to any base that you have going for you so we have this one turned upside down so for that i will just go ahead and rotate our model about 100 and 80 so let's make that 180 press the enter key and at this point we can now preview this and you can see everything in its glory so beautiful stuff that they have going on here and for those who would like to play with this link is going to be in the description where you can purchase it and let's actually throw in that physical atmosphere because you know it kind of makes everything look cool nice so for those who would like to get this you can simply go over to the link in the description and grab it and start playing with it and of course you can also preview some very cool stuff right here go through the manual read some of the cool stuff that they have going right here and you can you know see some of the things that's available for both those who want to get the pro version and also the light version and if you're also looking for some very nice vegetation tool you can actually take a look at the botanic tool that they have available right now and this version 6.1 was just announced few days ago so tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like the video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here is going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace